more than 900,000 bikes and 700 bike lanes throughout Amsterdam, Amsterdam Bicycle Network, one of the most busiest bicycle network in the world. Welcome to Amsterdam. Today we are gonna observe Amsterdam bicycle traffic in the rush hours between 5.30 and 6.30. You can already see that there are a lot of bicycles and cyclists around Amsterdam Central Station. I'm around Amsterdam Central Station. We'll be walking around the central areas around Amsterdam Central Station and some busy bike lanes and I'm gonna show you how Amsterdam bicycle traffic is after 5.30 in a normal day. Hello everyone, welcome to Amsterdam. This is Murat, another episode with Follow My Travels. Good to see you all. Today is another tropical weather and another microphone free day. I don't use microphone today. But uh, no wind, I mean the wind level is not high so I think the, uh, there is no problem with the live stream without microphone and it's a tropical weather almost in Amsterdam standards it's a tropical weather 26 Celsius at the moment beautiful Tuesday afternoon about Amsterdam cycling culture as I said 900 thousand bicycles in Amsterdam and Amsterdam population is around 1 million so everyone has a bicycle it's more important than autos vehicles cars scooters etc still bicycle is the most important thing in Amsterdam the best transportation vehicle in your daily life here it's not a hobby it's not something else bicycle using bicycle riding your bicycle is a is one of the most important things in your daily life here you need a bicycle if you want some comfort in your life if you live in Amsterdam there are more than 700 kilometers bike lanes all over the city not only in Amsterdam also in other states of the Netherlands especially in Groningen Utrecht because they are student cities more than 50% of adults living in Amsterdam they are committing committing to their work with bicycle this is one of the most busy spots of Amsterdam bike traffic because it's nearby Central Station. Hello, Adrian, Mohamed, Tomisan, Sundari, Toilet Brush, Tibor, good afternoon, Mark, Ireland. Hello, guys, let's cross the other side. I'm gonna show you from a different view. By the way, this area is renovated. It was smaller last year during pandemic. They renovated this area. Now it's a bigger bigger square it's a bike square as you see the the red areas are for bicycles they represent bike lanes that buildings over there is Amsterdam Central Station in average Every person lives in Amsterdam, they have 1.3 bicycles. But the, the, this is an official number, but in reality, we know that everyone has at least two bicycles. One for supermarkets, shopping, grocery things, and one for more professional things, for hobbies, for their long distance tours, vacations, etc or one e-bike and one foldable bike for example and those bicycles are for the people who has children or for the people who wanna carry their dogs pets and another example of bicycle culture of Amsterdam most of the mothers carry their child with this bicycle 
the most popular bicycle in, in the Netherlands. They're Omafits. They, they're called Omafits. It's already quite crowded, but let me remind you, still so many people they work from home. And still a lot of people working from home, so they know they don't need to uh, go to home from office during this rush hour. So this this bicycle traffic is still not the same as before pandemic. Still not much. But for you, if you are a tourist in Amsterdam, if you want to ride bicycle, if you want to rent a bicycle, you need to be careful because Amsterdam bicycle traffic is fast, cruel. They don't wait, they don't stop, they don't usually use their bells. They just hit and run. <laughs> And there is a special service in Amsterdam, it's called bike sharing. Some people say it's bicycle steal, stealing of bicycle. I will, I will call it like bike sharing. Every year 50,000 bicycles are stolen, more than 50,000. Look at the crowd. So every year 50, more than 50,000 of bicycles are stolen in Amsterdam and every year more than 12,000 of bicycles are picked up from Amsterdam canals. Let's call bicycles still like bike sharing service. It's just handed over. Golden <laughs> Afons, Ali. Enjoy Sunday smart look. That's the roof sailing of Amsterdam Central Station. These bike lanes are going all over Amsterdam. Not only in Amsterdam. Actually, like 50% of uh, Amsterdam population use bicycles, but in Groningen it's more than 65 persons. Because there are more students in Groningen city, there is a big university in Groningen in the north. It's another city in the north of the Netherlands, a big one. And it's a student city. Oh, there's another construction here. And if I remember correct, Groningen city was awarded for the most bike friendly city in the past because in the centrum it's designed for the bicycles not for the vehicles if you visit Groningen you will notice that it's so comfortable if you ride your bicycle through the streets it's not really comfortable with your auto or by walking the most convenient way is you riding your bicycle in Groningen so all the university students are uh, riding bicycles everywhere, it's a huge population. Yes, bike share, like Uber, you know? <laughs> Another thing, from the history, Netherlands was not always like this. This bike lane craziness started after 1970s. After 1950s, the urban planners destroyed most of the city to create more, more roads for automobiles, autos and uh, other motor vehicles. But then many people died in accident, traffic accidents because of those car, cars. And Alone in 1971, uh, 3,300 people were died in car accidents. I mean, they were cyclists and they were hit by a car. And 400 of them were children. And then families started an activist campaign, demonstration. It took years, but they won. 
one of the uh, one of the activist group uh, name is uh, stop child murder every year 400 child were dying because of car accidents while they were cycling and after 1971 things start to change things are start to change and the city council supported city municipalities supported them they create a lot of bike lanes they decided to the to idea that auto is not the, the thing they want they want more eco-friendly and uh, children friendly thing for transportation so they created today's Netherlands still I think it's not enough still there are a lot of cars autos and scooters look all these bicycles go to the other side bike slaughter is, is it goes Amsterdam North it's a free ferry it works it runs uh, 24 hours every day and you can get inside with your bicycle it's free we are still in front of Amsterdam Center station by the way another one is coming from other side It's rush hours. Another important activist group from that time, 1970s, it was Dutch Bicycle Union or Dutch Cyclist Union, I think. That was another important one. And today, still, they have more than 30,000 members, pay, paid members. Members pay money monthly for their projects. And Amsterdam municipality keep the car park prices high because we don't want any more car in the city. The ultimate plan for Amsterdam city is a uh, car free city, zero car, zero carbon emission. The ultimate goal is like that. And all over the city there are more than 200,000 bike racks like this. Hey Harjot, good to see you. Thank you for watching. Holhanat, Kuldag, Torun, hello, good evening. By the way, that was the entrance of Amsterdam Central Station. This is a bicycle tunnel. It's only for bicycles, not for vehicles. Another interesting information is after this bike revolution first bike lanes were implemented in Tilburg and Den Haag not in Amsterdam the first ones the first cities implemented those bike lanes special bike lanes they were Den Haag the Haag and Tilburg and the third one was Delft Delft town so Amsterdam was not like this you know it took some years and fortunately in, after 1973 some Arab countries uh, put embargo to the Netherlands uh, USA Britain because of their support to Israel and the oil prices went sky sky high so <laughs> maybe that's why they, they gave up the idea using more autos so they, they saw the cheap, cheap prices on bicycles and they changed their mind the urban planners I mean currently the, the fight is still going on by the way still there are fights between car supporters and bicycle supporters in my opinion However, current Amsterdam municipality is a green party. It was a green party and they, they are supporting more environmental friendly projects and they are still trying to 
create more bike friendly places for example they are building uh, underground underwater bike park here with more than 20,000 bicycle capacity I think already around Amsterdam Central Station area there are bike parks with more than 10,000 capacity for example this one this one is a secure bicycle park with security guards with some small money and there are 25 of them all over the Netherlands give me a sec let's wait for the tram <laughs> And that three floors iconic bike park has 7,000 bicycle capacity. In Utrecht Central Station area, there are three bike parks with more than 25,000 bicycle capacity. In Den Haag, Den Haag, uh, Den Haag Central Station area, three years ago they they have built a new bicycle park with more than 15,000 bicycle capacity. And also, this is a flat country, you know, bicycle is more convenient. Why you should pay more money for cars, despite everywhere is, I mean, it's a small country, small city, and everywhere is flat, no hill, no mountain. Also, there are more electric bikes all around, so uh, more older people use that bikes, which is more convenient for them. And all around the Netherlands, there are OFIFIS, public transportation bicycle, those are this one, yellow and blue is public transportation company, rental bicycle. Daily 24 hours rental price is 4 euro only. So as you can see, all over, the, all over Amsterdam, the most convenient transportation is bicycle. All things bikes today, yes, David Merlant is here. Hello. Hello, Paul. Welcome to Discord. To be honest, I cannot check Discord regularly. I just sometimes come and share something and leave. Discord is for you guys, not for me. I created Discord platform for your sharings, for your communication. So I come to Discord rarely, but you can share everything between you. This is Prince Hendrikade. As you see, one of the busy stars. In Amsterdam is a crazy traffic, crazy bicycle traffic. And don't think like that. Bicycle is a hobby here. Everyone uses their bicycle for the for their daily things: shopping, going to club, going to bar, going to meet a friend. It's used for everything. Prime Minister is using bicycle when he is going to the parliament, cabinet building, or sometimes, I think regularly, the king is also using his bicycle. For example, in my hometown in Turkey, bicycle is used, uh, used to be seen like a children hobby something related to children but here it's everything you carry your children you go to the your grocery shopping with your bicycle On a Saturday night, when you, 
when you want to go to the club, you just take your bicycle. You can see a lot of women with their mini skirts. They just take your, their bicycle and go to the club. They park their bicycles in a dirty bike racks and with their beautiful clothes, dress, they just go to the club, nightclub, you know. <laughs> Yes, this true David Dutch don't stop on stop signs. In my recent video in Zansas Hans, we saw Roy, my Dutch friend. He also confessed that he do, he don't he doesn't like waiting on traffic lights. There are a lot of rules about bicycle traffic in Amsterdam, but no, almost no one is obeying that, especially Dutch cyclists. They just don't stop on red traffic lights. They create their way. They do their thing. <laughs> cyclists are the kings here. Let's take a look around. This is Damrak area. <laughs> look, she stopped at the red light. I think she's not touch. She's not touch also. I'm just joking, they are Dutch. <laughs> Normally it's more and more crowded this area on this time is about almost six o'clock But because of the pandemic a lot of people start working at home Still, it's like that Not a lot of people Going to the office Let's take a look at Damrak. Strangely, I never, I have never seen a big bicycle traffic on this bike lane nearby Damrak. Somehow, I think people avoid to use this bike lane. Maybe because Damrak and Dam Square is too crowded, or it's out of their popular destinations. The other side is dancing houses, by the way. Alright, enough for bicycle history, from now on, like half hour, they're just gonna walk around a little bit daily, daily tour, as usual. So let's check what's going on with tea. As usual, I forgot that, please hit the like button if you enjoyed this tour. Support my videos, check the video description if you are a first timer here. We have Discord platform, Instagram, TikTok accounts, YouTube and Patreon memberships. Because it's a weekday, there are not many people taking pictures here. It's the one popular photo spot in Amsterdam, dancing houses. It's sunny day, 26 Celsius, as I said. But because of weekday, not many people renting boat or using boat cruises. They're empty. It's Tuesday. It's a silent day today. By the way, I just uh, returned from Germany yesterday evening. I arrived to home around one o'clock in the night. <laughs> Yesterday I was in Düsseldorf. Düsseldorf was empty because Monday. 
It was Monday and there were thunder, uh, there was a bit of rain. I didn't see any thunderstorms, but uh, still, even the touristic centrum was empty, so I didn't make a live stream from there. But the Cologne was nice. Merhaba Anarya, iyiyim. Sen nasılsın? Hukatet. Greetings, Andy Wayne from New York City. Thanks so much. Malta Network Resources, hello. Toilet flash. She stopped my, for, for my camera. Wow. Is he jumping? No. <coughs> Great terrace. Adrian, yes, I. I ate some Japanese food. Uh, I bought a bento box from a Japanese supermarket. Hello, Mateo from UK. I bought a bento box and uh, I ate it in front of uh, Düsseldorf Japanese supermarket and also I bought green tea for home matcha tea i mean uh, ceremonial matcha if you know what i mean and some max accessories from japan i want to eat ramen also but it didn't it wasn't possible because the ramen restaurants were too busy This way goes to the wall and By the way, next live stream will be tomorrow, but I don't know if it will be in Amsterdam or if it will be in somewhere else. Maybe I will travel somewhere else. I'll share with you to members and patrons, supporters today in the evening. Which time, where, which date. I think you can see the Febo in distance already. Now we are out of bicycle traffic. By the way, if you use your smartphone while you are riding your bicycle, there's a fine with 100 euro at least. That's the old church from 13th century over there. And look at this people. Because of the beautiful weather, they are sunbathing in their sunbathing chair. <laughs> Yeah, the other side is definitely better. I think that also. This way. Should I buy a car souffle? What do you think? Alright, it's car souffle time. 
I, I think I deserve a souffle. Give me a minute, I will buy a cheese souffle from Febo. What they have now, double vegetarian, uh, vegan, grilled burger. Two and fifty cents. I'm pushing the button. All right. Free now. He's not in prison any longer. Let's let's eat it in the historic view of Amsterdam or with a red zone view. What do you think? Where should I eat this? With this view or uh, with red zone view? <laughs> I think the red zone view is better. Let's go on to the next corner. The next corner is the main street, main canal of Amsterdam Green Light District. I call it Green Light District. Currently, most of the women are not working here. Uh, usually, they are here in the evening. Okay. There's a historic moment. I will eat my cheese souffle in Amsterdam Green Light District. I can't think any better place to eat it. <laughs> no, no sponsorship by Febo. I'm doing it freely. <laughs> If you are curious about this thing, if, if you don't know it, inside is melted cheese, croquant shape, and it's hot, by the way. So in that boxes they keep it warm. You just put some coins, cents, or you pay with your debit card. And you get it warm. fastest food in Amsterdam in the world maybe Chinatown is empty cheers Did I mention already everyone has two bicycles in Amsterdam? Now you see that was true. This man has two bicycles. It's a, it's a kind of Muslim thing. You can uh, get up to four bicycles. Just joking. Thanks to Amsterdam Municipality, they put some garbage bin here, Buddhist temple. Last week I was staying in a bar, 
the beginning of their dike and someone came to me and asked me where is green light district he didn't ask in that way actually he asked me where can i find women workers <laughs> i can't say that word he, he he was very direct and i explained the way first find the buddhist temple and then go to the right <laughs> And he, he was really surprised that when he learned the Green Light District is around Buddhist temple. Actually, the main Green Light District is around Amsterdam's the oldest church, the Adekerk, for centuries. And this one of the streets goes to the Wallen, the Green Light District. And guess what? Ten minutes later, that guy came to me again. He said, I couldn't find it. <laughs> and then I, I explained in more detail. <laughs> the new mark, the walk. What a beautiful Tuesday! Tuesday wipes! No, some stalls uh, of local market, they are still open. Now you know why all the people living here they use second, third hand old bicycles because there is a bike sharing service in Amsterdam you cannot own a bicycle for a long time like after three months, six months or one year, who knows uh, your bike is used for someone else, by someone else we call it bike sharing, not bike stealing. Former city gate, St. Anne's Port, if I remember correct, now the bar, the restaurant. Yes, purple picture, that's correct. I, I traveled everywhere in the Netherlands with my bicycle. Even in the smallest village, you can find bicycle lanes, bike lanes. And there are bicycle bridges, bicycle tunnels, two ways, one way, three way bicycle, highways. Every, everything is. Everything was built on bike lanes. These, these red ones are for bike lanes. But all these things were placed in the city after 1970s. So any country can do that. It's up to the awareness of the citizens. For example, this is two two way bike lane. And I'm gonna show you the other side. Look, this bike lane is almost wider than the vehicle way. This is vehicle way. So the bike lane is almost bigger than it has a more beautiful wheel. And in other cities of the Netherlands, I saw a lot of these kind of white bike lanes. 
in small towns, big cities, everywhere. What a view. Thank you, Byron. Mm. Hello. <laughs> Enjoy. The, that building is Chinatown buildings by the way behind all of these buildings it's Zedike Chinatown Street look that big bike it's used for uh, carriers delivery delivery stuff like DHL Postanel <laughs> By the way, I ride my bicycle more than 20 years. I've been living here for six years in Amsterdam. But before that, when I was when I used to live in Istanbul, I used to ride my ride by bicycle uh, every day. Whether it snows or rain, whatever. In, in Istanbul, and in Istanbul, there is a very limited bike lanes, like two kilometer or five kilometer maybe. Maybe 20 kilometers, I don't know. So in Amsterdam, there are more than 700 kilometers bike lanes with 1 million population. But in Istanbul, 20 million population is only 20 kilometers bike lane. So you understand me that I was always riding my bicycle in vehicle traffic. Every day I rode my bicycle in Istanbul, I put my life at risk. No bike lane, I was riding my bicycle between cars, trucks. And in the weekends, we were traveling to the far areas in Istanbul to find some nature. Because in the center of, centrum of Istanbul, you cannot find any nature. That's why I'm really comfortable when I ride my bicycle here and sometimes uh, if you don't obey some little rules in here always a Dutch people comment something you, you have to stop here you have to use the bike lane etc etc come on guys I, I ride my bicycle in Istanbul for more than 15 years we between tracks riding my bicycle here is nothing nothing no risk here <laughs> Only risk is cyclists here. Oh, look at this. Guilty pleasure. <laughs> Perfect. They just carried their chairs here, nearby the canal. What do you expect from life other than this? Enjoying afternoon nearby a historic Amsterdam canal. Oh, I didn't know that this alley, maybe sometimes it's open, maybe it's private, I don't know. But the other side is another street. Alright, let's carry on walking. Yes, Demirji, it's 26 Celsius, summer is here. Maybe two days. <laughs> two days summer is here again. After two days, we don't know. Let me show you a little bit more canal view. By the way, this side, there is no pedestrian walking lane. Wow, look at that. 
while we were talking about uh, bicycle life, bicycle culture in Amsterdam, <laughs> we saw some, we see some luxury cars. <laughs> what a shame! <laughs> you live in a, in the most bike-friendly city of the world, and you are still spending some money for that luxury cars. Only pedestrians uh, walking is at the other side for this street. And as I said before, there are more than 200,000 bike racks like this all over the city. Everywhere. Nearby the canal, nearby night nightclubs, nearby restaurants. Everywhere you can find some place for uh, lock your bicycles and secure them secure uh, just your imagination of course it's not really secure never for example this guy left his electronic computer bicycle computer here anytime it can be st st uh, stolen uh, let's go to the safer area the other side Another rubber duck store. It's close or other side. Right. We are gonna finish this video almost at the same place uh, we began. So, like, we have five minutes left together. If you haven't done already, please hit the like button. If you are happy with these videos and want me to do more Look how they transport mother and children Child, mother and child, of course with helmets Almost no one use helmet in the Netherlands, only a few people, but of course children have to do that. If you start to watch this video later, not from the beginning, take a look at from the beginning start from the beginning because I gave some information about bicycle culture in the Netherlands and in Amsterdam if you are curious about that another big bike lane two-way at Prince Hendrikade site it's it's also usually busy Look at that, everywhere you can see hundreds of bicycles like the other side. Good morning, Wang Kong. You're welcome, Harjot. Thanks. Greetings to Canada. Let's finish the video with Damrak view. A classic, iconic Damrak view.
like most of the time Khabal Batafia and the Ramen Kingdom is here. I need some damrak, David. Never have enough damrak. But uh, before that, let me show you the other side. This area is renovated already. It was part of Amsterdam Central Renovation Project, which is going on for more than 10 years. Uh, this area is completed. Nearby the metro exit over there, the central station building and the Cavalote restaurant and the other side is public transportation tickets. Also Lauer Canal Cruise Company is here, another one is here. So this area is almost completed, only there are some construction works over there. The, the big job is at the other side of the bridge, it's still going on. So in, instead of paying high prices to restaurants and bars, you can just take your beers, drinks and foods from uh, kiosk or supermarkets. You can just sit here, enjoy the view, free. Pro tip for budget travelers. By the way, yesterday in Dusseldorf I rented a Lime electric scooter, it was so convenient, there were some other brands but I used Lime, I just installed the app and I paid it through PayPal, but you can pay with credit cards or uh, bank accounts, whatever, it's so convenient, you know, also Dusseldorf is a flat city. But I haven't seen Lime electric scooter in Amsterdam, I think. Here, bicycle is more popular. Scott, thank you for your feedback. Last look to Central Station area. Okay guys, we are at the end already, 54 minutes. I will stop the video here and I will take some beaches later after this video. A little bit walk in Amsterdam, maybe I will record another video for future sharings. I will leave you with Damrak view. See you tomorrow or another day. I'm not promising for tomorrow, but I will share with you the members and Patreon supporters today in the evening what I'm gonna do. So take care, hit the like button if you haven't done already.
see you. See you soon. Beautiful weather. I'll find a sunbat chair. I'll get some vitamin D a little bit more. We need it. Here. Thanks, Pablo. Thanks, uh, Wang. Uh, he looks better, but we need a few more days to understand if he is really good or not because his problem is with with his intestines. So after the surgery, we wait some for good news. Hopefully tomorrow or the other day. We will see. Thanks so much for asking. <laughs>